What is up my dudes and the one girl who's curious to know if he's back? The man behind the mask. Well, we're gonna find out today. This is Mike Spears and Bruce. Let's kick that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we kick this one off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. New videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. You better subscribe and hit that bell or I'm sending my buddy Jason to your house, machete and all. Yeah, that's a threat. <laughs> so today, it's, uh, it's one more day on my not as big dumb road trip uh, for 2022. I am here with Doyle again. He is uh, right up ahead of me and He's showing me um, how how to pack like an adult because he's got what is a glorified fanny pack for this entire trip on this back seat. Whereas my bike is completely loaded down now. We just checked out of the hotel, got some breakfast, and we're heading down to Moonshine 28 Highway. Um, I have no idea what it is. Doyle said it's cool, so we, we trust in Doyle. Uh, we're gonna go do that, ride around for a little bit. Then I'm probably gonna go hit Falcon Fury Harley one more time, shop for some provisions over at Wally World, and then head over to Camp Crystal Lake, Hard Labor Creek, whatever the real name is, doesn't matter. It's Crystal Lake for this weekend. So let's do this. All right, so we wasted no time. We're already on uh, Moonshine 28. Uh, instantly, Serpentine Road. <laughs> it's a uh, it's definitely uh, not going to be as fun to carve through this one today. I got my cooler on the back. I actually have ice in it finally and a bunch of drinks. And then all my other stuff because like I said we checked out from uh, the hotel heading to the next destination. But man, I, I seriously just love these roads. These are so good. And also for, for many of you who are always convinced that everything I say is always negative, uh, pay attention to the last uh, couple videos I've done because all I've done is tell you exactly how much I love these roads down here. They are so awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm just like a kid in a candy store. This is, this is good stuff. I enjoy it so much. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go back to focusing on this road and, you know, trying not to die and stuff. I'll, uh, I'll get you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we are going to be coming up on Falcon Fury, <laughs> furiously fast. Oh, dad joke, I got him, no problem. <laughs> Doyle had pointed out the obvious, and uh, I'm, I don't want to bet against him on this one because I would definitely lose. He's uh, fairly well convinced that this guy with the trailer here is probably going to Falcon Fury to go pick up his Harley. 
<laughs> yeah, Harley's breakdown. <laughs> so the other thing is, Doyle's gonna be breaking off from me after uh, Falcon Fury, and if you look ahead, all the sky is dark and cloudy, and that's where he's going to go. <laughs> oh, look at that. I guess he will not be picking up his Harley. All right, redemption. <laughs> Come on, dude. I think, yep, right here, coming in hard. <laughs> Take the next ride, then your destination will be on the left. And we have arrived. So if you're ever down in the Georgia area, definitely come by Falcon Fury. They've got a lot of cool looking bikes. I mean, I'm not a big wheel bagger fan. I've said that before, but even those big wheel baggers, they made look awesome. And I mean, quite honestly, this bike, uh, that bike, kind of after my own heart, gotta tell you. <laughs> so yeah, they, they definitely got some nice stuff here. I talked to one of the the sales guys, not gonna sell his name out on this, but um, they've got a Harley live wire still. And um, I asked him, because they have the live wire one here, is the Harley live wire still like almost 10 grand more expensive? Because you can literally walk in there right now and buy a live wire one at the live wire one cost. And he said, yep, still the same price. So literally, you could walk into a Harley dealership and spend like 30 grand for the Harley Livewire, or you could spend like 20 grand on the Livewire 1, which is the exact same bike minus the Harley logo. That's nuts. He said it's uh, Livewire. It's kind of on them to do it. It's not the uh, actual company. It's not the, the stores, the dealerships that are doing that. And I gotta believe them because I mean like, why? It makes no sense, but yeah. A lot of good bikes here. Really nice dealership. This is actually my second time here. I, I stopped here for my last trip. Totally worth coming in, especially if you're looking to buy a bike too, because they've got some options and they, they've got some cool details on them. Like they've, they've got some custom stuff that just looks awesome. All right, I'm gonna get down the road. We're off to Hard Labor Creek. All right, guys, we are just about at our destination. Just took the left. Hard Labor Creek, as I remember from last year, is right up the road. I stopped by Walmart. Whew, they're, oh man, Georgia Walmarts are, they're something, man, they're something. But uh, yeah, we're almost there now. I think we're getting there a little bit early, so we'll probably be camped out in front. So, whatever. <laughs> so it is. Uh, okay. I don't know where I am, man. I think I'm so. Oh, I got the wrong address. Yeah, watch me make a U-turn. Where that dude was parked is definitely where I need to be. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, I was just saying like, yeah, Georgia, uh, I, I don't know what you guys got going on here in Walmarts, but man, I, I saw some things. I'm also fairly certain that an older gentleman with a long gray beard tried to make a pass at me because he was kind of looking at me and when I went up and down the aisles and then at one point in time he uh, he comes up to me with uh, some like grizzly pancake mix and it um, it said bear naked pancake mix like bear is in b-e-a-r yeah I didn't put my feet down what's up and he was like is this what you were looking for and I was like, no, man, definitely not what I was looking for. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay, have a good one. And like, just kind of like took off quick. So if you're in Georgia and some dude comes up to you and tries to offer you bare naked pancake mix, 
That's what you're getting into. He wants to mix the batter and lick the beater. <laughs> All right, guys, we are rolling into Camp Crystal Lake. For those of you who didn't watch my video last year, I'm gonna post it up there because I did uh, a pretty good breakdown of everything. But this uh, used to be the dirt road and this they actually used this road as uh, the road to go to the cemetery. So when you see them like in the beginning, like hauling ass down the road to the cemetery, later in the movie when you see it, it was actually this road that leads to the camp. Uh, everything was very local to each other and it was very small, like, uh, you know, radius wise in Georgia. It's not a very spread out sort of movie. They kept it all pretty well contained, which was really cool. But that's what we're doing right now. We are technically riding to Jason's grave. <laughs> uh, and in reality, we are riding to Camp Crystal Lake. Oh, this is exciting. Let me tell you, uh, again, you should definitely check out my video from last year. I did a really good breakdown on everything about like the movie and the camp and all that, mainly because Onset Cinema did a fantastic breakdown and, you know, walked us through it and all that. But I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's just awesome. Like right here is, this would have been dirt. The wood on the left and the right here, that would have been the sign for Camp Crystal Lake. And we are here. Now look guys, I don't want you to be jealous or anything, but my sheets are more than meets the eye. <laughs> so this is where I'm staying for the weekend. One of the cabins, in the actual movie, none of these cabins were used. Um, they actually used the dining hall and just kept changing it. So they would change it to the girls' cabin, boys' cabin, dining hall. Um, they used the front facades of some of the other cabins. Uh, like, we'll end up checking it out, but ugh, right there, that was the boys' cabin. We'll go over to that a little bit later on. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you uh, my Palacio estate. Palacio Estate, yeah, I was talking with my hands out of frame. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll continue this in a bit. All right, guys, I just unpacked. I got changed. I am now in full squid mode. So this is when I'll end up hitting something and dying, whatever. <laughs> Use this found footage as proof that that's what happened. I don't know. People are still coming in. That is awesome. We are heading out. Why? Because Walmart had a horrible, horrible selection of beer. And so I am gonna go try and hit a gas station or two and find something tolerable. Uh, some of the other like campers here, very cool people, but they're like, oh yeah, we got beer, we'll share with you. Got some middle of light. I'm like, no, nah, sorry, man, I gotta go find some beer. <laughs> the dude's, uh, dude's girlfriend was like, oh, that is cold. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna go get some beer. We'll we'll catch up later. So here's the thing I kind of forgot when it comes to doing a beer run up here. Um, when you go to do a beer run, you're not going to go buy the beer you want. You're looking for the least shittiest beer that they offer. Man, I, I went to like two stores and I just had flashbacks of last year. I was like, oh, I forgot this part. Like, there is just so many bad options. So I ended up with Shock Top, because really that was the least worst of the options at the stores. And in fairness, even when I was at Walmart and I thought about buying beer there, usually there's a good beer selection at a Walmart. Not the case down this way, man. It, it, was, it was something. It wasn't something good, but it was something. <laughs> All right, back to camp. As 
so Onset Cinema is done by a guy named Kenny. He also does Myers House NC. Um, I think they have a website, MyersHouseNC.com. I'll throw it below when I find out. Cool part about that place is Kenny is such a huge horror fan that he lives in North Carolina. His favorite movies are Halloween. So he went ahead and built a replica of the original Halloween house in North Carolina and lives there. Every now and then, he, uh, he opens up the grounds for people to come watch like um, horror movies on his front lawn and stuff like that. Like, you know, he brings porta potties and all that stuff and like lets people camp there. He is, he's really, really big into horror and just the entire genre. So I really appreciate that. And I think that's another reason why this whole thing is absolutely as cool as it is. So you should definitely check out Myers House NC and Onset Cinema. It, it'd be worth your time, especially if you're a horror fan. So this is one of those locations I didn't get to show you last year. The only time we came down here was at night to do s'mores. This is actually from the beginning of the movie when they had all the kids and they were trying to, the counselors were trying to keep them amused because the head counselors were, well, dead. And they're like, hey, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, who wants to go do this? And like, this is where they were. They were all hanging out here. It's a pretty nice spot, actually. Lake's right there. Um, really, this camp is incredibly small and compact. It's really interesting when you watch that movie because it just looks so spread out, so big and like all that stuff and really not it's it's a very tiny sort of setup and they just made it work but yeah this is a, a cool place i just want to share with you so we're over at uh, dulce restaurante italian in uh madison georgia just like last year when we showed up uh the place was closed but the owner like hangs out out front and he just kind of chills um, and he's the nicest dude on earth. We show up and we're like, we really want coffee. And he's like, oh, you want coffee? I'll get you coffee. Come on. And he takes us inside, makes us coffee. And a uh, year or two of doing that. If you're ever in Madison, Georgia, come find this place. Uh, tell the owner you saw him here. Like, he is just the coolest dude and he makes awesome coffee. So Tom Matthews, the man who played Tommy Jarvis in... Uh, Friday the 13th, Jason Lives, is here doing autographs, photos, and all that stuff. That's actually the reason why I came this year. I wasn't sure if I was going to come back because, I mean, I did the camp last year. It was fun, for sure, but this definitely made for a good reason. Uh, he's going to do autographs, photos, so I'm going to have him autograph my Blu-ray edition of Jason Lives. And, uh, yeah, let's get this done. <laughs> There was a time when we were in between shots and some kid got on the location and I don't even know how, but we were all sitting around and he was, he was like 12 or 13 years old and he comes up and goes, excuse me, does anyone know where Jason is? I said, uh, I think he's like, you know, he's rehearsing or something. I asked him, is there anything I can do for you? And he says, yeah, uh, can you give him a message? I said, sure. He goes, okay. Can you tell him if I leave my window open tonight, would he come and kill me? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no story. No. No story. And he was there. And just like last year, Rain, so much rain. I'm sure it's gonna continue into the morning because that's when I gotta ride out, but fingers crossed. We pretty much got the intro of the movie before it just opened up like this and started downpouring and they had to like stop. We were down by the lake, it was awesome. Not so much now, whatever.
well, we did it. Another successful weekend at Camp Blood. <laughs> or, you know, Camp Forest Green. Or, as it's actually known, Camp Daniel Morgan in Hard Labor Creek down in Georgia. It's been another fun weekend for sure. Uh, meeting Tom Matthews was very cool. He was he was very, very cool as well. Even after all the signings and stuff like that, he hung out. He actually hung out with like a group of us and just shoot, shooting the shit, like talking, didn't care, totally chill, telling us about his life and all that fun stuff. Like, you know, it wasn't one of those show up, sign, get paid, get out the door. Um, he hung out, he stayed until the movie. And even then, like, the movie was right over there. And he set up a chair and he was good to go. And, you know, he was getting his uh, his cheers and claps and stuff when he uh, first came on the screen. And then it started downpouring. So we, we all kind of had to leave. But even when it started raining, he didn't leave right away. He was just kind of hanging out with us. He was, he was down. He was one of the guys. Yeah. Um, it, it was very, very cool of him. Very cool. And it's it was a great weekend. Once again, you should definitely check out Onset Cinema and uh, Myers House and NC. I'll put the links down below. They're both totally worth it. Uh, Kenny definitely puts in like the time and the effort to make these events very good. It's not like some sort of half-assed thing where you show up, he, you hand him money, and you just sit there and shut up for the weekend. <laughs> like, he really wants you to enjoy it and he really wants you to come back. And even this being my second year here, um, there was still new stuff. It, it really wasn't like this complete like repetition of uh, last year. So, I'm gonna get on the road. Uh, Meg told me that there's no way <laughs> early. Meg told me there is no way I would leave at like 10 in the morning and just drive through until like 3 in the morning to get home. So <laughs> I I guess I'm going to aim for another 1k in a day um, because unknowing to her, she threw down the gauntlet. So challenge accepted. We'll see if I make it. <laughs> I did see rain in the forecast, so I'm not sure if it's going to be a recorded 1K in a day on the way home. Nonetheless, all, I'm going to end this here. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video with friends, share it with family, share it with that one final girl you know who survived a horror movie. She loves this stuff, trust me. And I'll see you all on the flip side.